Hello, and thank you very much for tuning in. Welcome to um, Lunchtime Live, the Friday series that normally takes place in St Francis Church opposite the Tobacco Factory here in Bristol. I'm Nicola Woodward, and I've got some really rather amazing sweet music I'd like to share with you today. Um, so normally the series um, takes donations, but they've really kindly agreed this time that we're going to support um, the refugee charity uh, United Nations High Commission for Refugees. So if you do make any donations, I'd be really grateful and it would be going straight to a really, really good cause. Um, so I'm going to be playing a whole mixture of sweet music. Um, the theme is loosely uh, freedom, migration, immigration. Um, I'd like to start with some Telemann the first uh, two out of the 12 fantasies, A major and A minor. Um, and I know we often think of Baroque music as being in a bit of a straitjacket, um, but these are really um, very much uh, designed to sound a bit improvised. So wonderfully free pieces of music, um, Telemann uh, fantasies. They're each in several movements, so this is definitely the perfect one to work on. So thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoy the concert.
Thank you. Those were the first two Telemann fantasies in A major and A minor. I'm getting slightly more used to this online performing now, but it's still very strange playing in my front room, um, but knowing you're all out there. Um, I've left the drawing up behind, and this was uh, reminiscent of a concert I was due to give in Malta, um, so I did the concert online anyway and drew the backdrop 
say it, it stayed. I think it's going to have to go soon. <laughs> I'd like to continue with uh, a real favourite of mine. Um, it's Cocopelli by Catherine Hoover, American composer who sadly passed away last year. Um, Cocopelli was the legendary hero of the Hopi tribe and also a flute player, and he led the migrations across the southwest. Um, so Catherine says, in this piece, I have tried to capture some of the sense of spaciousness and of the Hopi's deep kinship with this land. Um, it was written in New Mexico, in Albuquerque, in 1990, and um, Albuquerque is always going to be dear in my heart because it was sort of the first um, non-European or the first place with a really radically different culture that I ever visited. And I actually bought this, this bracelet from one of the native Indians there, and it's got um, a sunrise on it, and I've worn it pretty much every day since, and that's 31 years ago. Um, so I was there just the year after. Cocopelli by Catherine.
Thank you. That was Cocapelli by Catherine Hoover. Uh, the next piece is a sort of improvisation, um, although I've got some ideas before I even start. Um, I'm just sticking, if you can see, I'm just putting a little bit at the end of my flute there, tape rolled up, which will give me an extra note, bottom B flat, um, not the clearest note, but it's, I wanted it. <laughs> Um, the next piece is inspired by a film I went to see. Now, our little town, Thornbury, uh, has an awful lot going on in it. It's, it's really quite an amazing place to live, really. Um, and one of the things we have is a film club. And it's nice because you go to the film club and there are other people to discuss films with. Um, but I think recently I saw there a film called Capernaum, uh, which has had a really profound effect on me. Every now and again, you just come across something that you know is going to live with you forever. And that was one of those films um, directed by Nadine Labaki, set in Beirut, and it deals with the issue of refugees and what life is really like once refugees have escaped. This is not obviously not a bed of roses by a long, um, a long shot. And what's really incredible about this film is she's actually used real actors and real stories. Um, you don't necessarily work that out until the end um, or unless you look it up. Uh, so it's an absolutely brilliant piece of cinema. As I say, completely, completely got to me. Um, and I can't begin or even pretend to understand what some people are going through. Um, so I'm not even going to try. But then I feel like to say nothing is not really any better. So this is just a musical response to that film. I'm slightly drawing on um, a tune, a folk tune from that sort of region. But Capernaum generally now is, I think, means kind of chaos. Um, but it is the name of a fishing village in Palestine that was built up and destroyed um, several times, and hence the, term, the name Capernaum has become synonymous with chaos. So thanks to Thornbury Film Club, and, and this is also a film that I know the United um, Nations High Commission for Refugees uh, use. I'm not quite sure in what capacity, but it's a film that um, they very much believe in because I think it really does help people to understand what people are. So on that note, if you do fancy making a donation, it is all going directly to that amazing little charity. Happy now.
That was an improvisation after the film Capernaum. Um, something completely different now. Uh, I guess it's a kind of welcome to all the wonderful Irish people I've met over the years who've had a huge impact on my music and more recently on my daughter's dancing. Um, so this is a tribute to all our Irish friends. Um, I'd like to play a couple of tunes, um, The Lark in the Clear Air and The Cash on this uh, low, oops, <laughs> low D whistle. And then a couple of tunes that I wrote, um, Gavin Hawkins and The Oldbury Wheel on a folk flute. That's that one. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy these. if you're still with me. Um, so this is my third online recital of what I'm calling the season, the COVID season. Um, and the first two recitals have featured music by Charles Kichner. I was calling him Kirschner, but apparently um, after a long chat with the composer's grandson in Paris over Zoom, it's apparently Kichner. Um, he's my hero at the moment, and I've just finished recording, and they're due for release any second now, um, three CDs of Kikan's wonderful 96 pieces for unaccompanied flute. 
um, entitled Chant de Nectaire, Nectaire being a flute player, a flute, um, a flute player, sorry, and a sage, and actually an angel who roams the earth and features in the book La Révolte des Anges by Anatole France. Um, so these 96 amazing pieces, um, really good examples of monody in music, which I take to mean um, melody line with, without necessarily any implied harmony underneath. Um, this happens to be the very first piece I recorded in lockdown up at a church in our village. I um, couldn't get into the church, so I just recorded it in my porch. And those of you who follow me on Facebook might have seen that on a really cold day in the middle of March. Um, but the title aptly, um, still apt, is Prière pour la guérison, which means prayer for a cure. So this is piece 95 out of 96, Chant, prayer for a cure. Prière pour la guérison by Charles Chrétien. So um, this brings me to my last piece, and quite a big piece it is too. Um, this is uh, by Herman Beeftink. It's a piece called Wings, um, and I really like the idea of the freedom that this brings. And also, actually, it's it's quite incredible in that it's very rhythmic, quite repetitive. Um, and it really, the flute is, is supplying the harmony as well as the melody. And it's an extraordinary piece. I've really, I had never played anything like it before. And I was listening to it late one evening and just thinking, I have to have this, I have to play this and I want to play it now. Um, and amazingly, I went on to um, Herman's uh, website and I hope you don't mind me saying this, Herman, but $3.99 and about three minutes later, it was coming out of my printer and I just thought, well, that is the way. Um, when you want something, <laughs> that's the way to get it. So it arrived about midnight, about six weeks ago. And uh, for once, I really thought I was beaten in terms of memorizing, because it's very beguiling, quite repetitive, and I, I thought it was going to get the better of me. But um, 
we'll see about that in a minute, won't we? Um, so thanks very much for listening in. Um, do listen in again next week. We've got the Bieber recorder duo. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel um, already, please do. It didn't cost you anything, but it's really great for us musicians. Um, so, um, yes, that's all I'd like to say. Please donate generously to the United... Um, I can't seem to get this right, the United Nations High Commission for Refugees, because you know, we might think we've had it tough in lockdown, but some people out there are going through things beyond our imagination. So I'd be really grateful for any donations. And I'd like to play you out with Wings by Beef Tink. Thank you.